Mein Name ist Scout on Tour. Diesmal melden wir uns aus dem Norden von Westaustralien, aus der Pilbara-Region. Und wir freuen uns, Ihnen das Projekt Pilgangura von Pilbara Minerals näher bringen zu dürfen. Hier wird Lithium aus Spodumenen in Pegmatiten gesucht. Okay, so our Pilgangora project is located in the Pilbara uh, region of Western Australia. Uh, we're actually in the, um, the East Strelly Greenstone Belt. Uh, this map here shows uh, the belt here. The greens are basically made up of basalts and ultramafic rocks. Uh, the pink here off to the west is the granite um, and this surrounds the Greenstone Belt. And the red zones here are the actual the mineralization or the pegmatites. <coughs> now this map here, the, the pegmatites extend from our southern prospect down here up to the Monster project. That strike length is over seven kilometers. Uh, there's multiple pegmatites and these um, uh, have been defined yeah, from our southern prospect through our western and central areas uh, up to the Monster project. Uh, the pegmatites themselves, they are all east dipping. Uh, in the south here they're quite steep and as we go into the central part of the, uh, the project area they, they uh, shallow up a bit, thicken, uh, they're multiple stacked loads and as we progress to the, the north along our eastern zone they steepen up a bit. Yeah, so some of these pegmatites are up to 70 metres thick and um, uh, as we'll see in the, out in the field shortly, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're massive outcropping from surface and, and significant uh, um, thick zones of, of uh, pegma, pegmatite mineralisation. Okay, so this, this plan here shows all the drilling that we have completed this year, all the yellow holes, uh, holes that were drilled in 2016 and all the red holes there are holes that we drilled last year. Uh, all up the company's drilled about 80,000 metres uh, since we've been uh, working on this project. The yellow uh, outlines there are the pit shells from the pre-feasibility study. Um, if we look uh, across this, this figure here, um, we will then look at, uh, at these sections here. So we have a cross section going through here. This is through the central part of our, our main pit here. And if you look at the section here, these squares here are 100 metre squares. All the red there is part of our measured resource and the blue is our uh, indicated resource. And the pit shell you can see here is the pre-feasibility pit shell. So as we can see, mineralisation is well and truly open at depth. Uh, we'll see a very low strip ratio here from this section here. Um, this section looks like it will be about two, maybe three to one uh, waste to ore ratio. Um, most of the drilling we have done is on uh, 50 metre uh, by 100 metre spacings. In the main area it's up to 50 by 20, 25 metre spacings. And as we move away from the main resource area, they're on 100 by 50 metre spacings. <coughs> so the currently defined resource is 128 million tonnes. Uh, we've got another program that is taking place uh, starting next month, so all those yellow holes there. Uh, we'll be looking at resource extensions and we have an expiration target of between 130 and 150 million tonnes uh, of uh, open pitable resource uh, within the near mine area. So yeah, this, this program will be about uh, a 10 to 15,000 metre program and we should have that finished by mid-November and then we'll look to having a, an additional resource upgrade uh, by the end of the year. Im Hintergrund sehen wir aufgeschlossen die Pegmatite, die hier in Streichrichtung anstehen, mit etwa 30 bis 45 Grad Richtung Osten einfallen. Hier in der Central Pit die Ausdehnungen von 800 Metern in der Breite und über zweieinhalb Kilometer Länge besitzen wird, befinden sich nachgewiesene Ressourcen von über 70 Millionen Tonnen. Okay, so now we're standing right in the middle, let's say, of your property and we can see in the background there's been a lot of drilling being done and you, we can see 
some pegmatites outcropping. So what are you up to here next? Do some more infill drilling or how, how large is the resource and the potential target area in this region? So this is our, our central domain. Uh, we've pretty well finished all the drilling here. It's been drilled out on 50 by 25 metre spacings. Uh, so we've already got um, measured uh, resource to cover us for the first 15 years. Uh, what we actually can see here is basically from where we're standing to that big hill in the, in the distance there is uh, over 800 metres in width. Uh, the actual strike length of the pit itself is going to be over two kilometres, probably around two and a half kilometres, just, just this pit alone. So what we can see here is it's a massive big resource. Um, yeah, we've pretty well finished um, in this area here. Uh, where we have got potential for more is across the other side of that, that, uh, that the last hill you can see there in the distance. Uh, and then that'll be form part of our drilling program uh, in September, October um, this year. So we can see active drilling rigs in the far end. Yep. Uh, there are other companies looking for potential target areas here in the region as well. So. How large is the extent of this pegmatite system? So the pegmatite system extends for about 11 kilometres. Um, we, we've got about uh, seven and a half to eight kilometres of that, and definitely we've got the, uh, I guess the the, uh, the the larger part of the system here. Um, you can see the rigs there off to the south. That's Altura. Um, they've got a drilling program underway at the moment. Um, up to the north, there's another company uh, with a smaller resource off to the east of us. But uh, yeah, the system ex itself extends for um, over 11 kilometres. So there are a lot of smaller hills and uh, you have the flat ground in the background. Um, it's a large area, the port is about 100 kilometres away so could you please give us an impression of where you want to put your infrastructure your plant and what the pit outline mm. might look like here okay. in that area all right so for, well, first the pit outline itself our central pit is going to extend from uh, a bit over to the east uh, to that range of hills um, you can see in the distance there <coughs> the proposed uh, rom pad which will be providing the uh, the ore to the the process plant will be over on the flats so about a, a kilometer and a half from here uh, you can see the flats in the distance there uh, and then you can the access road from the plant will then go out about 25 kilometers to the Great Northern Highway and then it's about it's about 130 kilometer haul from site to the port. Hier befinden wir uns in der Kernzone des Pegmatits, der Mächtigkeiten von bis zu 40 Metern aufweisen kann. Der Gehalt an Lithiumoxid beträgt hier im Durchschnitt 1,4 bis 1,5 Prozent. Das Hauptlithiummineral ist der Spodumen, der mit relativ wenig Eisen, hauptsächlich hier als Oxidation an der Oberfläche und im Pegmatit selber mit fast keinen Glimmern verwachsen ist. Zusätzlich zum Spodumen sind noch Feldspäte, es ist noch Quarz mit vorhanden. In Summe befinden sich hier die Ressourcen in einem technischen Grade, der eine direkte Verarbeitung in den Prozessanlagen, in meistens in chinesischen Aufbereitungsanlagen, ermöglicht. Neben Lithium besitzen die Pegmatite auf Pilgangora auch Tantal als Beimischung. Dieses Tantal war in historischen Zeiten Ziel von Abbau. Im Hintergrund haben wir auch weitere Abraumhalden, etwa 300.000 Tonnen, die von Pilbara Minerals als zusätzliches Erz verkauft werden können. This here is our eastern domain. Uh, it's our other major pit that we'll be mining. Um, and you see here, this, this particular area here is very high grade. Uh, this is well over 2% in lithia. You can see these crystals here, the spodumene crystals, the creamy grey um, crystal here. Uh, yeah, said so very high grade. We've got uh, spodumene and then we've got a matrix of the black mineral here is microcline, which is a type of feldspar, and then the interstitial materials are albite and quartz. So, um, good example of how the pegmatites can be zoned here. We've got these large spodumene crystals and you're going down to this albatite zone. Uh, then we've got more um, spodumene down here.
So now we're standing at the northern edge of your property and we're looking at the monster project here. So could you give us some information on what we actually can see here? Uh, the monster was named by Pan Continental in the 80s. Uh, it looks like a monster going down the side of the hill, as you look down here on the side of the hill. Uh, a high value resource with low strip ratio, uh, 2 plus percent uh, lithium oxide. And at the moment we're looking at uh, a minimum of around 10 million tonnes with more upside uh, in tonnage. So what kind of extension drilling program are you planning for the next, let's say, months, half a year, a year in that specific area? We need to close off uh, to, to the south of this boundary, to the existing northern area, and you have about six or 700 metres between the monster and the northern area. The northern area, of course, bounds onto the eastern pegmatite. So a lot more work needs to be done to get continuity along strike uh, and the tons will obviously increase. So would you be able to have here an additional mine or an open pit mine to feed the plant if you can't get the continuity with the other resource? Absolutely. The, the monster will help us take our resource uh, well beyond the target of probably 150 million tons uh, and of course uh, it'll extend our, our mine life to probably 30 years from the 20 to 25 years, which will be posted in the DFS in, in, in the next coming month. So it's a very huge deposit if you're talking about 30 year mine life plus. So where do you see that compared to your peers and other deposits in the world? It's more about the quality of our deposit and it's more about the mineability of our deposit. We're close to port, we're close to main roads, we have water, uh, we have uh, infrastructure like uh, uh, airstrips. Um, it, it all really turns into a, a, a very simple and, and, and well-organized project.